Oh, hello. The name's Charles. Ron Charles. The international book critic with a license to Pam. What have you got for me this week, Dee? This is a sticky one, Ron. I love them sticky. What does that even mean? Jonathan Lethem, we meet again. You'll want this. Ah, Roger's Thesaurus, my superannuated Phytus Akatis. You'll need these too. But aside from these quibbles... Your Parker pen? Ah, uh, yes. A 2009, if I'm not mistaken. Be careful with that, Ron! <clears throat> You can put a man to sleep in two paragraphs. Well, I'm on it. And Ron. Yes, Dee. Be careful. Some say he's a genius. The Gambler's Anatomy is but a handsome professional gambler who travels the world to play high-stakes backgammon. That's right. A novel that combines the intrigue of James Bond with all the sexiness of backgammon. And he's psychic. But you knew I'd say that. The story opens with a wunderbar scene in Berlin where Bruno has gone to make one last killing. But that's not how Z dice rollin'. Bruno is up $36,000 when suddenly he starts to feel sick. The music disorients him. The room begins to spin. It turns out Bruno has a large tumor in his head that's starting to impede his vision. Only one man can save him. A wacky brain surgeon in San Francisco. If you're at all squeamish, click now on those adorable kittens. The whole middle of the gambler's anatomy is a 15-hour operation in which the doctor removes Bruno's face and scoops out a large mass from his skull. You may not learn enough to try this at home, but you'll come bloody close. Bruno makes a full recovery, which is great. But the novel starts to die which is not great. The last third of the novel is about Bruno wandering around Berkeley wearing a mask to hide his ruined handsomeness. He gets involved in some kind of lefty protest against a wealthy real estate owner, the same guy who paid for his expensive operation. Why does the real estate owner help Bruno out? What does he expect in return from Bruno? How can the hippies fight back against the man? To answer those questions, you'd have to be psychic. For the Totally Hip video book review, I'm Charles. Ron Charles.